Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at King's Bounty 2. This is an open world, uh, I guess it's sort of a party based RPG. We're, we're one person, but we'll be commanding a, uh, a force along with us into this sort of, uh, you know, fantasy kind of RPG thing. Uh, it's been developed by 1C Entertainment and uh, out here on August 24th. So, um, there's a bit of a story here. Uh, the game's pretty heavy into explaining what's happening here as we get into it, so I'll let the game do the talking. Uh, but for the most part, uh, we're going to create ourselves a character. Um, well, we'll choose a character that is pre-done for us, uh, a sort of mage. And we'll go out, we'll grab ourselves some, uh, some hirelings and set out into the world. So, let's check it out though and see what's going on. Uh, and choose our guy. So we've got three classes, or we got three people, classes essentially. We've got, we've got Avar the warrior, we've got Catherine the mage, and we have Elisa the paladin. Um, now, we're, uh, we're all magic users, um, sort of. I, the, the only uh, playing of this game I've done, I, I play with Avar here as a warrior, uh, and I can do, I guess they can all do casting at some point at the moment. He doesn't do much. He's mostly just, you know, going there and fight things. But really, we don't do the fighting. The uh, the hirelings do it. So, um... Uh, I'm up for a mage. Let's be a mage today. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, we're gonna be a sorceress. We've got books of things. We'll see what this all means when we get into it. Uh, there's a lot of variety there, but yeah, yeah let's, uh, let's be Catherine today. So again, we'll get a bit of a story. We're gonna be like, we're imprisoned. We're getting set free, going on a mission, uh, getting a horse, and uh, and by the way, this is it's going to look real time. It's going to look um, like third person, uh, and then whenever we get into the combat, it's it's turn based, like hex based turn based combat mode. Get up! Come on, hurry! The warden is calling. Are you really going to save Nostra, as they say? Huh. That's an interesting opener. What are you driving at? You can discuss it with Warden Valber. Come out of that cell. I'll escort you. Well, if the warden himself is asking, how can a simple countess refuse? Let's go. You know the warden doesn't like to be kept waiting. The sooner you get to his office, the sooner you'll learn everything. I can tell you this much. It's good news for you. Okay, so let's head out of our our, uh, our old home for the day and, and uh, walk this way. Were you bored Seven sitting in prison? What are you talking about, old man? A lot of chatting going on in this prison. Six months aside, quite a I lot has happened. Rumor has it. The vile tyrant Vitelli served his sentence in this dungeon, deprived of the opportunity to work evil. He withered and soon died. Well, that's a good plaque. Nobody leaves Crucis. All right, uh, move it along, buddy. The dwarves refused to supply us with firewood. They ran out. Uh, oh, there's a menu in here. Well, that's nice. But snow and hungry what wolves for miles. We can the holidays. Prisoners are entitled to a handful of raisins. That, well, that's awfully nice. Opening your witch's stone is being. Hello. Your belongings are in yonder chest. Take everything or you'll freeze to death. The prison's warmer than outside, slightly. Pestilence has struck Montpetri. The quarantine is everywhere. Yeah, 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 stop talking. All right, let's go pick up my stuff. What do we get? Armor, gold, mana. Okay. I accept. Uh, so let me show a couple things here. We'll get a bit of a, uh, pointers and things that will point a lot of this stuff out. Uh, here's my map. I'm in the castle right now. We'll be exploring the, uh, the vast open world place here. Uh, I, I have an inventory. We saw my armor that I just picked up. We'll pick some new things up here in a minute. I have talents. This is where the, the game opens up. Um, now, it looks similar depending on whatever class you want. The only thing is different, really, I think, is your starting stuff, as far as I understand. Um, I know Earth and Ice books, level one. I have uh, Air and Fire, apparently, and I've got Insidious Maneuver uh, and Infinite Balance, which we'll see uh, as I get new talents. We can get new things and just pick basically anything. Um... Doing new spells takes a certain level of certain things. We have a quest log, and that's basically it. So let's go back to uh, old guy and see what he wants. Oh, no, another note. A dragon has been spotted over Albus Ridge. 
In case of a dragon situation, prisoners are advised to lie down on the cell floor and cover their heads to protect from the lizard's fiery breath. Okay. You're a free individual now. Basket. Why are you releasing the prisoners? Okay. Marie, for, the, you for the first bit, um, me and these blockheads are just going to come and uh, sort of follow along a bit of a story. Uh, a tutorial story. And then, and then it'll open up. We, you know, we have main quests, side quests, that kind of a thing. Something is rotten in the state. So much fuss and all for what? Who the hell do you think you are making me wreak havoc in my prison? I'm Catherine, Countess of Rigor. In case you've forgotten. Hmm. Well, well. I heard a little more than that. As Flavius the Wisecracker eloquently wrote, there's nothing new in this world. But I haven't received a letter like this in all seven years of my tenure at Crucis. Prince Adrian orders that you be freed and sent to Marcella. Also, you won't be leaving here on foot. I was ordered to return your gold and belongings, provide you with a horse, and, <laughs> let me read it aloud, allocate some of my own garrison as your personal guard. Madness! As that same Flavius the Wisecracker of yours wrote, there is always a kernel of sense in madness. Whether the prince is sane or not is of no consequence. I cannot disobey my liege. Bastion should have returned your money and belongings by now. <laughs> if he didn't steal them himself. Quartermaster Aston will supply you with weapons. As for gold, you have plenty already. Go to Decim to collect your guards. He has a platoon of troublemakers he's wanted rid of for a long time now. He'll be glad to hand them over. I also advise you to purchase some dogs for the road. And what else did His Highness request? Ah yes, a horse. Levit the stable boy has a soft spot for nags too old and worn down to work. I'm sure he can pick one out for you. It looks like the local climate has changed your temperament for the worse. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we got different folks in town. We got recruiters, armors, merchants. You know how it works. Uh, let's get... Oh, what's we got over here? A book! Alright, yeah, so you'll find books along the way. Lore time, essentially. Uh, we're not we're not here for lore time. We're here for uh, for killing time and this. Ah, ah, oh, she didn't yell at me last time. I, last time she yelled at me when I bumped her. Hey, doggy. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, let's wait to get yelled at. All right, let's go chat with the uh, the armor man. Um, notice all these things that he has behind his cart here. Just keep that in mind. What do you need, human? A shovel, perhaps? Have you been sent to the stables too? Careful with your words, short one. I'm a countess. Don't you dare compare my royal self to a stable hand. Now give me a weapon and be quick about it. Oh, sacred forefathers. Why would I ever do that? Because I'm free again. Any more questions? By Mactus's horns. This is the first time I've ever seen a human leave Crucis on their own two feet. If you got gold... Treat yourself to something new. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yes. One crossbow, please. I'll take it. Yeah, that's all he's got. Easton didn't shortchange you on equipment. I warrant you'll survive the Albion Highlands. Go, human. May your body be as hard as flint and your soul as clear as crystal. Well, a dwarven poet. I am. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, get some dogs and guards. Of the lumberjacks. Hello, Dasem. Halt! What are you doing here? You're not permitted to be wandering about like a stray cat. I'm no longer a prisoner, Dasem. You're to give me a suitable number of soldiers as escort to Marcella. So Centurion, it's true. The warden received a missive from the prince ordering the provision of a guard troop for the prisoner. A uh, former prisoner. Huh? Never heard of a prisoner being released. Ah, well, I believe I have some laggards and troublemakers I can spare. Can I go too? Oh, how I miss the sunny warmth of the capital. No, Bastion, you're not rotten enough to let go. I can still make a decent guard out of you. I heard your worthless conscripts are accompanied by mangy fighting dogs. <laughs> the only thing you'll be getting for free is a family of bedbugs. I spent a year training those hounds. 
Now, if we're talking about an exchange of gold for flesh, that's another bowl of kibble entirely. You'll get the best dogs in Nostria. Sounds too good to be true. Are they really worth the price? These recruits might not be the brightest candles at the feast, but my fighting dogs are as fierce as the Warden himself. You won't regret a single gold piece spent on these animals. Okay, okay. Uh, nice town, nice town. Uh, so there's some dogs here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some of these guys. I, I will buy you, please. Yep, yep. Uh, one dog, please. Okay, I think that's all I can buy. Yeah, not enough leadership points to get any more. So I can I got two folks. I got the old guy with the spear and a dog. That's going to be my army. And and basically the way this works is when we get in the combat, they're the ones that do all the fighting. I don't do much. I can occasionally throw some spells out. I'm curious to see what she's gonna do versus the guy that I was playing with before, because he didn't do much of anything. Um so we'll see, since he's a bit more of a mate, you know. Uh, fetch the horse from Levitt. Uh, Levitt the groom. He is... Follow the thing up on top there. Let's go over here and grab Levitt. I can hold shift and walk if I want. But we're gonna go and... Man, everyone's... Everyone's just chatting around here. You managed to outsmart me, brother. Hello. Ah, it's you. You're the one who poisoned that scoundrel, Claudius. It's a real pleasure to meet you. I wish it were me, but... Don't be modest. You did a great thing here, and history will not forget you. I think I've seen you somewhere, stable boy. Were you responsible for delivering horses to Rigern? Oh, by the way, what I really need right now is a horse. All you're asking is a horse? Just a horse? Have no worry. You'll get our best. Saddle up quickly. You've probably forgotten how to ride after half a year in a cell. You can go now. Actually, wait. What now? I wanted to warn you about sentry golems. Be wary of them once you're past New Tyrene. Tell me more about the golems. The mage Rossum took them to clear a landslide. What they lack in brain, they make up in brawn. Since they don't know you've been released, they're liable to crush you. As you pass the southern ruins, find the archer's squad commander, Ansel. A royal messenger said the squad will join you and augment your escort. I'm hoping that by the time you get there, they'll catch the marauder who's been raiding abandoned houses. Wonder why old Berengarius didn't turn him into a chicken. Who's this Berengarius? Another escort? That's up to his magicness. I have no authority over him. Perhaps he'll decide to leave these cold, inhospitable lands for the warmth of the mage's tower. Come on, mount up. I picked out the very bestest horse for you. Oh, okay. He's okay. calm and obedient. I'm not sure about this guy. Oh, hey. Stands as if he's rooted to the ground. Hey, giant horse. Races like the wind itself. And very smart. He'll find you anywhere if you just holler for him. Alright, let's get out of here. I got a horse. I got an army. I got dogs. Uh, let's go get some golems. So we've got these, um... These these steelies here, which are basically travel points. I'm on the map now, and I can. Uh, my goal is to get down here to to Witchstone, uh, so we're gonna go do that. We'll run through these ruins here first, and see where it goes from there. Uh, we may some see some sparkly things along the way. Uh, Not we'll stop surprising that. that people want to leave the highlands. The climate here is worse than in rigor. Uh, interesting. Uh, so the the guy I played before, he talked about how it's summertime. She doesn't care it's summertime. She just thinks it's terrible here. By the way, it's combat time. So we're going to move. And we're going to investigate what combat is all about. I guess my tooltips aren't playing anymore since I've done them before. Um, but I'll explain. So I, I have my two folks. They've got theirs over there. And uh, I do have some power, which we'll see if I can do anything about it. But I think... Mo oops, I didn't mean to hit escape. Uh, fight. So we we deploy and, we, and then we turn we we hex turn based style fight uh, and that's about it. So we can move these guy you know around here if we want. We can put him over there uh, and then and then we can uh, fight. So doggies are come running up here. Ooh, he's fast. Chew on that doggy. Oh, he's dead already. Okay. Dogs come pre-equipped with a with a gravestone. All right, good. I was hoping. Oh, we kill. But I want to show off the combat game. Oh, he ran away. Okay. Okay. So, uh, each of my units have have like one ability. The dogs have have uh, a uh, like a bleed, a bite, a bleed, uh, and then these guys have something else as well. I also have a book of magic. 
which I apparently only have Burning Ray, I think, now. Oh, yeah, it's unavailable. So I do have Burning Ray, which I can use. And I can do that. So, um, I don't I get a turn. I just occasionally I like, pop in, burn some things or whatever. That's much fancier than what the warrior had. Did we get him? No, oh, he's still hanging around. Okay, so what's going up here? Okay. Oh, you can't do anything, so you're done. We're gonna... Oh, we got him. Okay. We'll do a little dance. And, uh, and get some loot. These dogs were carrying a scroll on them. Uh, oh, it's another burning ray. Uh, I already have that one. I guess I can sell it. I got more mana that we can use to research and cast and upgrade spells. And we have more gold. Okay. These, these dogs had gold all over their pockets. Uh, I will take it. I guess I saw that city map before. It's just something you can sell. Uh, he did say something over here. Didn't, didn't he say something? Someone's going to re like join up with me? I missed this last time. Hey, hey you. I didn't listen too much to the story. Come over here. Oh, another dwarf. Am I insult this guy too? Are... Who are you? <laughs> are you from Crucis? Quickly, come with us. Run. I'm not running anywhere. Explain yourself. Insult the dwarf. Lumber, Jack. We're nothing but dwarven woodcutters. Honest. We cut down trees and send the lumber on to Crucis. The humans have all left the valley. Only us and a few locals remain. Stein is our chief. So then this Lupin, a man from Riggan, arrives at our village. Ah, uh, he was stirring up trouble, trying to recruit the remaining human hunters to join him in his wicked deeds. Then Lupin's men seized the village. They captured Stein and are trying to start a fight with the dwarves. Things could easily turn bloody. We took them in purely out of kindness, and this is how they repay us. Disgusting. Help us. Quick, run. <laughs> this guy's in a real hurry. So, this is a side quest. Um, I didn't see this one before. I completely walked by it, right by it. Um, so, we got axes and splinters, one we just picked up. Uh, our goal is to go, you know, to that other steely down the road a bit. Um, but yeah, what goes? I, I'm all for helping the dwarves. I mean, she isn't, but but I am. I think she might have a, have a problem with some dwarves, the way she talked to that last guy. Um, I can always whistle my, um, ooh, what's this? Ooh. What are you? Okay, I'll take some. I'll take some magic power. Thank you. Uh, I do get talents eventually. I guess I didn't get anything just yet. Uh, those are around, spaced around a bit. I saw one before as well. I guess it gave me a talent point. Where's these dwarves at? Oh, oh they're, they're humans. Yeah. What are you looking at? Oh, you want to trade? Um, can I buy more? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. I, I want more. What's that button do? Yeah, give me more. Okay. Sounds good. Um, we got a pelt here. Let's go take it. Oh, story time. All right, all right, all right. Uh, quest was updated. What's what's it gonna say? Talk to the instigators. All right. Oh, we're having a little bit of a bit of a ruckus going on over here. I see. I see. Um, I hope we're not having trying to have us talk them down because I don't think we're gonna do a lot of that. You don't make the rules around here, Lupin. All right, Lupin, let me insult you a little count. bit. Hey, Lupin, look. One of the Crucian prisoners, another victim of Claudius and Balbert. You're just in time. We need another strong arm right about now. What makes you think I'll help you? You're human. This concerns you, too. These jumped-up dwarf and lumberjacks have it too good. They're living like little lords on handouts from the fort, from that damned Valbert. We local hunters, on the other hand, are being oppressed. Only I, Lupin, can grant any hope of justice. Don't you remember how they treat prisoners? I worked for Valbert myself until I escaped. You'd turn blue if you'd seen what I'd seen. Most of them are rotting alive in there. Not because they're bandits or murderers, mind. Just because they dared say something about the drunkard king. It's not humane. Ah, so you're on the side of justice. What's your plan? We've decided to seize Crucis. We're going to starve the fort by cutting off their access to food and fuel. When we triumph, we'll free all the prisoners. But the dwarfs are against us, so we need to force their hand. Then it will be Valbert's turn to answer for his misdeeds. 
If you're not going to help us, your other option is to spill our blood. Human blood. Oh, do we, do we get a... Uh, this is a big part of it as well, is like uh, uh, multiple ways of completing things. Open-ended, you know, that, that kind of a thing. Uh, I can attack Lester. I can talk with you guys. I can, oh, I can I can choose. Raul, let's, let's have a chat. That Valbear will be swinging from a gibbet soon. I just know it. Yeah, the Valbear guy's a jerk. Uh, I don't like him, but I don't want to hurt the dwarves. Look, let's just chat. Can we can we talk this out? No, you don't want to talk. Anybody? Anybody? Hey, you. You want, you want to chat, Stein? In a birch grove, one rejoices. In pines, prayers sung in many voices. But among the spruces, only nooses. What are you, a poet? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Stein. Back in my youth, I was a scribe at Marcello. But the city is too noisy for me, too fast. As you can see, I'm looking for peace and quiet now. Quiet seems to have fled, followed closely by peace. What's happening here? It's that troublemaker Lupin. He's a criminal on the lam from Rigern. He's fallen in with Rauld, another lowlife and deserter from Crucis. He tried to seize control of the valley. And as you can see, the dwarves didn't take kindly to that idea. I tried to settle things peacefully, but nobody listened to me. I hate to say it, but the snow will be soaked with blood today. These troublemakers of yours promise to break the prisoners out of Crucis. Surely that's not a bad thing. Of course they do, but think. If Lupin's fellows are able to attack the supply shipments to Crucis, the city will starve. Once the dwarves are gone, the firewood goes with them. And who do you think the Warden Valbert is going to deprive of food and heat first? His guards or the prisoners? I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Hmm. Uh, okay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. You want a piece of this? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> um, don't make the rules around here. Man, I don't know. I, I, you know what? Just in the interest of of, right of being an outlaw. Easy there, little beard. Enough serving jailers. It's time we made some changes around here. Yeah, let's it's make some changes around. Cut out your filthy tongue. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why don't you? Okay, okay. Let's get these dwarves. Uh, okay, so we got, yeah, dwarves over there. They got doggies as well. Uh, I'll put my doggies over here. We'll just sort of line up. We head over there, and then, uh, we'll hold space and start. Now, we can, we can do, uh, like a, like a weight, which gives us a defense bonus. Um, it seems like we got, like, a nice little, um, almost have a good choke point over here. Let's say we go, like, uh, I don't know, let's just move up one square. Yeah, that's good enough. Make it all the way over here. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. Uh, okay, let's go and say him back in here. You good? Here goes this dwarf. What do you got? Axes? Oh, I, by the way, I can also spin these. I forgot we could do this. Um, yeah, just come on up here. And, and then hold, hold your turn. Yeah, ouch. Okay, now we're gonna do the we're gonna do the defense thing. This is T, which is uh, it doesn't tell me what it does, but it's it's a defensive thing. Gives us a boost. Watch it, dwarf. Oh no! Okay, okay. Uh, if these guys turn, but I can do my thing. I've got, I've got the ability to do things. I got burning. That's burning right too. Also, also, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess we can use a scroll and save ourselves the mana cost. But I've got four, so yeah, let's burn somebody. This is very satisfying to do. Okay, okay. Uh, you guys, I want you to stab this guy. Use your big big attack one, and and stab him. There you go. Well done. Uh, whoop, pop his gravestone, gravestone in there, and then uh, yeah, move on up here. And doggies, what do you do? I don't know if it, what's it, what's it called. Attack and withdraw. Ally units teleport to an enemy unit, dealing damage, and then ally units return to original location. Oh, that's kind of pointless. Don't do that. Just just bite him. Those are my new wolves I just picked up. And then you can do, uh, oh, same guys. 
Yeah, you guys are done. And then you, you have a, a bleeding thing, though. Which is... Bloody Bites. There you go. Uh, and then, and then I want you to, like, can you just get back? Oh, no, I forgot! I forgot! If you leave the zone of control, you get attacked! Oh, man. Sorry, buddy. Uh, my turn again? Okay, let's go. Okay. What have we done? I'll take it. We showed those shorties who's boss here, didn't we? Now nobody stands between us and the royal shipments. The jailers will be feeling that cold soon. And if they try to get wood on their own, our arrows will turn them into pin cushions. I can see you'll do fine without me from here on out. I'll be wanting my reward now. Our guys have already opened the Dwarven warehouse. Here, it's nearby. Go take a look. You're welcome to whatever's left. Whatever's left? I want whatever's first. Where, where, where? This way? Are you just sitting there watching the whole thing? Recruiter Mark has gained new units. Recruiter Mark, isn't this guy up here? Are you Recruiter Mark? Mark? This is So I followed the main quest before and I was playing around with this. Uh, it's much more open-ended than I thought it was. Uh, we get some recruits or more doggies. What do you do? Uh, ambush. Okay, I like it. Yep, I will. I will hire you. Yes, please. And yeah, can I have you too? Kind of go. Oh, I'm short on money now. How much do I have? I'm just barely short. I can buy more of you. More bandits? Yeah. I don't know. Never mind. Not enough leadership. Okay. 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 Um. Where's that place at? Over here. I can't get in there. Well, where is this place? Oh, these guys all ran off. Um, mm, mm. Let's look over here and talk talk to this jerk. Oh nope. All right, all right. The road to Rigern. Shame that the way is so dangerous. Uh, what about map? There's my armor guy, Mark. And uh, that's all I got. What's that? Collect the reward. Oh, it's over there. Okay, okay. Uh, so that was this one here. We got access to splinters. Go collect the reward. Uh, for killing some poor, helpless dwarves. Interesting that I got to choose one of them. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go do it. Uh, horsey. Come here. All right. Step aside. Let's head back over here and uh, get ambushed by dwarves and collect our reward. In here somewhere. Is it over that way? No, that's not that way. It's uh, left and across a bridge. Oh, I read about this statue. I need to find its hands. Where are you guys? Kick those little beardlings soundly. If I dare say so. Oh, you guys myself. are back here now. <laughs> The forest is now ours. Not only the forest, but the whole valley. All that remains is to smoke the royal henchmen out of the fortress. Ha! Then we'll be living. There are plenty of good fellas pining away for a real job in the north. In the Black Valley. Who are you talking about? Not those they send into exile. Hmm. Or black we might have chosen the wrong side. Let's go hop on here and get some more power. There we go. A little more experience. I'll take it. Oh, I got a talent point. Excellent. Uh, so now we can do whatever, you know, we can... There's all things we can do. We can we can upgrade. This costs two points to go to that one. But we can get a new book. I didn't show this yet. Uh, life and Light spells. This will allow us to learn those things. There's Death and Darkness spells we can learn. Uh, we've got, like, more cash from, from uh, treasures. We've got more victory rewards. Uh, each allied unit's damage increased by 5% for each wounded member. Hmm. Um, I mean, I don't know. There's a million things in here. Uh, I was that's going to give me like more, um, uh, like leadership points or something. Crushing strike. Supreme magic. Uh, it costs eight points though. Um, I mean, I don't know. Hero gains plus three warfare. 
XP for battles goes up. Resistances. Uh, plus 5 armor in the first round of combat. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Um, I'll take plus 3 warfare. I don't know what warfare does. It sounds great. Okay, let's go back. I think it was over here. Across the bridge. Excuse me, birds. We gotta go up this way. Collect our... Oh, my... We just left the bodies there? Oh, yeah. We, we chose poorly. We, we are on the wrong side of this. Oh, another book of lore. There you go. Uh, all right. All right. My shield you got there, buddy. I'll take a box. This is it. I get boots. I just murdered some dwarves for boots. I think that was it. Yeah, quest complete. That's it. All right. Well, that certainly has changed some things. I looked at that horse. It's terrifyingly big. <laughs> and the legs on that thing. Look at that. I thought it was a monster. Okay. Uh, let's go, buddy. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the main quest, and I'll show where that's supposed to take us. Because that is there's a, an interesting bit to that. Um, we'll see where that takes us. I'm intrigued by how open world this is. I wish I had had seen that quest before and done like the hum the, the dwarf side before and seen what what it did for me. Um, another one of these steely things. We can go and do some uh, fast travel if we want. We're gonna walk over here, and we've got some golems. The mage left his dummies without supervision. I should find him. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> Alright, so we got a mage up here. The reason I wanted to pay a mage this time is... There's a book there. On the, oh, yeah, yeah. So there's a book here on the ground. The reason I want to pay a mage this time is because I played the fighter last time. Uh, he didn't know how to do magic things. And so we'll see if that comes in here in a second. So we got the basis of Enterra. Magic lies in runes. And there's all kinds of different runes that mean different things. Um, and I believe we come up here... Yeah, so my, my mage couldn't do anything about this. He didn't know what to do. He was like, I don't, I don't do magic. And so we couldn't get past this point. So right now, we're at a quest right now. There was a tooltip before. Um, I met these golems. And I got two choices. I can either go and destroy the golems, fight them out, fight it out, which is what I did last time. Or I can come and try to pacify the golems with helping the, with the help of their master. So, you know, this is the golem master. I, gotta, I, can, I can choose one of these. Uh, I have no idea which one I'm supposed to be doing. So we'll do that one. I'm assuming it's in that book there we just looked at. Could I be wrong? Nope. It's really simple. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Uh, hey, what you looking at, buddy? <laughs> you prisoner, what are you? Does doing everyone know here? that I'm a prisoner? Prince Adrian set me free. I'm headed for Marcella. Amazing. Was your assassination attempt on the king forgiven? I was certain the world would run out of mana, and gold be cheaper than clay before such a thing came to pass. <sighs> I didn't poison that idiot. Maybe so, maybe so. Wondrous things are happening in Nostria. So what caused you to interrupt my meditation? Your golems, Rossum, they're blocking my way. Kindly remove them. Since you were summoned by Prince Adrian himself, so be it. But I hope you don't believe mages always work for free. Air Blitty Immobilatus! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, buddy. Uh, you wanna talk again? So it our bell. Oh. Call our bell. Dinger. What else do you want? The road is clear. I must go replenish my mana. Okay, I see how it is. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I took it all. No mana for you. Uh, all right. Uh, there's there's also some things around here we can go check out. But let's go check out those uh, those golems. Ah, terrifying. All right. Come in, come in. Get out of the trees. All right. So now the golems, I guess, are going to be gone. I fought them. Yo. Oh. No, they're just. Just looking the other way. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, last time I fought them. They weren't so tough. Um, and I was able to make my way through that way. 
Is this Baron Garrus's magic? Gold bones. We got a quest. Uh, this is a side quest. Main quest is just to get to Marcella, or the, the ruins of New Hope. Um, yeah, so we, we had a choice. Do that one. We're going to go find Ansel's squad now. Cold bones. On the road leading from the somber walls of Crucius to the Batile Gates, I came across a strange sign. As I reached to touch it, the sign shot off in the direction of the town I, uh, of Bliss like an enchanted arrow. I suspect it was a call for help. Oh, yeah, we're in the business of, of helping folks. This one right here? That's Ansel's squad. There's a mysterious shining. Okay. So Ansel's like right over here. Yeah, there he is. So that's the main quest. Let's go. Let's go the side The gates are to the left, and to the right, I can see the mage's tower behind the houses. What's, is that blue thing up there? What else is going on up here? It's like a castle up there. Uh, hey, doggy, are you a friendly dog? So much effort wasted. I'm here. I'm here. It's abandoned. Only jagged ruins scratch the sky ahead. I wonder what might be inside. A mystery? A treasure? I'm up for treasure. Uh, wait here, horse. There's some books there and some giant birds. Uh, let's go in here. More plaques. Here live decorously the royal mages whose tires experiments at the mana wells warm the lands of the Albion Highlands. Uh, I'm a bit of a mage. I think I should live here. Ooh, what is a force cube? What do you do? You sell. Okay. Uh, also, I was going to show this. So, I have... I want to look at it in my book. My my book of magic is B. So, I know these two things. I can, I can learn these other guys. Actually, I don't even have access to it. Um... Can I do this one? I know stone skin. If I want to upgrade it, I have to get, like, uh, Magic of Earth and Ice 2 to get that one. And then we can learn things. I'll find new ones along the way as well. I haven't found any yet. Uh, I don't think. Um, yeah, there's stone skin, and then there's the burning ray. So, yeah, I'll find new ones along the way, though, and that's how I get more uh, um, spells. Along with being able to cast them by, by leveling myself up. All right, it's very purple over here. It's some kind of riddle. If only there were some kind of hint. The highland winds are blowing. The wind from the northwest is succeeded by the wind from the southeast, and the wind from the southwest. Saddle the winds, and the portal of the tower in the heart of this storm shall open to you. Okay, okay, okay. Saddle the wind, like, like, uh... Oh, set on. Oh, oh. Fiery chalice, fiery chalice. Sure. Oh, wait, wait. It told me what to do, right? It told me which ones. It said northwest succeeded by southeast and southwest. So which one's first? Southeast, then southwest, then northwest? Uh, so. Southeast. Southwest. Then northeast. Could I be wrong? Nope. 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 I'll try this way. Okay. So succeeded means came before. Preceded. That's preceded. Oh. Yes? Cutscene? No. Oh. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Hello. Thank the creator I've been heard. You solved the riddle of the portal, so you're definitely no dark spirit. Come on, give me, give me a nice snarky then? response. I want to hear it. Was it you who led me here? Oh. Was the sigil on the road your work? So it is, though my abilities aren't what they once were. Thankfully, I still had strength enough to inscribe the Morning Star. That's what led you to me. What an old-fashioned name. Where is it from? 
Morgus Thaumaturgical Catalogue, of course. And the ether seal is holding the entrance to the cemetery shut. My name is Berengarius. My colleagues and I once attempted to warm the Albion Highlands with rune magic. My knowledge of the runes is vast, but it did not save me from an ice-rhymed death. Look at what's left of me. I see. He worked here even before Archmage Alberine. Ever since then, I've been waiting for people to return here to the Town of Bliss. But I am bedeviled by the Dark Spirit and his servants, the Cemetery Ghouls. Long ago, I inscribed protective runes on every building. But since then, their power has dwindled. Soon, the Dark Spirit will freely roam the streets of Bliss. I am too weak in this form. Please, visit the different rooms and read the mantras of power. Argo vires imago. Klaatu Verana. <laughs> okay, okay. That's enough of that. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, all kinds of things are going on around here. All right. Well, that's a good place to call it a day, I think. That is King's Bounty 2. I never played King's Bounty 1. Came out, man, like, what? A long time ago. I'll leave it at that. Um, so, uh, this is on Steam. A protective sigil. It must be here for a reason. I'll put links below, of course, and you can check the thing out. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.